God bless you again, global Christian friend. We are going to continue on in our fasting in Matthew 6 and 16. Uh, moreover, when you fast, he said, be not as the hypocrites. What a statement of a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces. I've seen that, that they appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their rewards. Doesn't sound like much reward to me, but thou, when thou fastest, do these two things. Anoint thine head and wash thy face. Now we know that oil and water don't mix. But here, it appears that it does. All right? Oil and water don't mix. But here, it appears that it does in the 17th verse that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father, which is in secret. I mentioned that, uh, uh, your Father in secret in the fourth verse, he mentioned it also in the sixth verse. And thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. That's the way he does things. Uh, look at the sun in the sky. If you want to go up higher and see a higher understanding uh, uh, resolution, look at the stars in the sky. Those are of the earth look at the sun, and they understand the luminosity of the sun around them and showing the things that are of the world uh, beneath the stars. You want to see higher, go higher than the stars. And this is what Jesus uh, uh, introduced into the next verse. Uh, the... 19th verse, and that is treasures in heaven. Not treasure, but treasures in heaven. You notice that? He said, lay not up for yourselves uh, treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. They do. You can't deny it. Uh, 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 rust uh, uh, comes in and calls, well, I look at the structures around America, the bridges and the tunnels and the roads, and you'll see uh, the condition, the chemical condition that have taken place uh, on the infrastructure of America. And uh, you see that uh, rust has uh, eaten away quite a bit, uh, and you, you know you, you know the story. But uh, in verse 20, he says, 620, lay you up for yourselves treasures uh, in heaven, not just a treasure, but treasures uh, in heaven, uh, where neither moth nor rust uh, doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. In other words, God watch over your treasures, and uh, uh, when they are laid up in that respect, for He said, "Where your treasures, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also." Now, uh, we understand that all the gold and diamond plates and crystals found throughout the heavens. Uh, what wealth can you lay up for yourselves? All right. But he tells us how to do that uh, uh, in uh, Matthew 21, uh, 19 and 21. And uh, you can read that, Matthew 19 and 21, because there he says, I want you to turn there with us, and this is what you're reading. Uh, 21st verse. Uh, let me make sure we got it uh, right. Uh, Matthew 19, 21. This is what uh, it says. If thou will be perfect, Go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. 
Now, he tells you what to do to have treasure in heaven. Four things to do. Uh, first of all, be perfect. Then go. Uh, sell. Give. Come. And follow. Uh, these things. In other words, it just makes sense. Jesus wants you to be perfect so that you may perfectly follow him. It just makes sense in the world. And when you're perfect in this respect, you know how to perfectly lay up for yourselves uh, treasures in heaven, and God's going to watch over those treasures that you lay up in heaven because if they're valuable to you, they're valuable to him. And if they're valuable to him, they're valuable to you. And this is how he tells you uh, what to do. Be perfect. If thou will be perfect, do this. Do these four things uh, and you're going to have treasure in heaven. Think about that. You being perfect with treasure in heaven. Think about that statement. You being perfect with treasure in heaven. And uh, 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 you, you know uh, Isaiah 58 uh, uh, for the fasting. You know that already. Not what you assume to be the way that you fast, but uh, the fast that God himself hath given unto uh, us to fast through the prophet Isaiah chapter 58. And uh, 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 treasure in heaven. Now, the next thing he uh, shows is uh, the light. And understand this quite clearly in verse 22, 6, uh, Matthew 22. Uh, you are the light of the world, but the light of the body is the eye. Think about that statement. You are the light of the world, but the light of the body is the eye. Now pay attention. Uh, uh, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Now, it's wonderful to understand the body being full of light because we read about the fullness of God uh, in Ephesians 3.19 uh, and we read about the fullness of Christ in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. So we need to look at the fullness that we're talking about. Uh, not that kind of stuff that is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through uh, 15, where there are false prophets, uh, false apostles, false Christ, and all that other kind of false stuff you don't need. But in 22, the light of the body is the eye. And therefore, if thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. Here's the conjunction. But if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. And if the darkness uh, 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 be light that is in you or be in thee, if it is darkness, how great is that darkness? You don't want to know. You don't want to know how great is that darkness because we understand from 1 John 1 and 5, that God is light in him is no darkness at all. And we will continue further on with our global Christian friends as we move forward. God bless you.